This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 9, and it reads, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Wawachakwadash, with Yahweh, that's Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Rachakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures, and salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I read that scripture in Isaiah, the 32nd chapter. Uh, from the ninth verse to the 11th verse, all right, because, you know, for you women out there, all right, that prophecy will come to pass and is coming to pass as we speak, all right? And when I say you women, I'm talking about you Israelite women, all right, which consists mainly of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? And also we have some of our, you know, people, all right, some of uh, the Israelites that are mixed and mingled with the heathen, and they actually have the appearances of the heathen, but ultimately go back to the sea line of Israel. All right. And, um, you know, you uh, Israelite women, hey, you, you better get in order very soon because, look, eventually at some point, you know, all these, you know, perks, you know, and freedoms that you're going to have or that you have in this place. OK, in this kingdom, you know, in America is it, it, going to be, you know, stripped away from you. All right. And I want to bring out this uh, article that I saw. All right. Because you have that whole situation that's going on in Ukraine right now. You know, it's becoming a, uh, a war zone. Right. And with that being said, you know, you have even, you know, uh, um, as it says here, a former Miss Ukrainian. All right. Takes up arms against Russia. All right. You have somebody that was, you know, a woman. That was, you know, in the, you know, the beauty pageants, all that, you know, a, a woman that should be so-called taken care of. She shouldn't even have to be worried about, you know, war and fighting and all that. And she's out there on the front line, so to speak. OK, she's out there, you know, fighting and defending her so-called country. Right. All right. You see, and these things are going to happen here in America. OK, you women are going to get drafted and they don't care how you look. They don't care if you're, you know. A, a, a you know a top model okay or if you're just an average you know looking woman hey you're gonna get you know um you know drafted into this war very soon because look world war three you know will and is happening as we speak okay this is not gonna stop all right you know right now we're at the beginning stages of it all right these are the beginning stages of world war three and eventually you know your life that you know it okay is gonna disappear and, and a new reality is going to come into place, all right? Which is nothing but uh, uh, war, agony, okay? You know, uh, uh, life-threatening uh, uh, situations, all right? That's what's going to be, you know, happening to you daily, okay? All right, so hey, you women, you better get in order. You better get in order, all right? You better find a man of the Lord because time is running short, man. You know, a time's ticking away. All right. Hey, you live in this, you know, rebellious lifestyle, or I should say, death style, because that's all it leads to, anyways. Okay, isn't prospering. All right, it isn't beneficial to you, and you better, you know, you know, get in order, because that's how you're gonna get saved by you getting with the man of the Lord. All right, being obedient to him. Okay. You know, having children, as the scriptures say, because uh, the woman's going to get saved by childbearing, all right? And that's it. Being, with, like I said, with the man of the Lord and hoping that, that you're uh, 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 selected, okay, and chosen, all right? But let me read a little bit of this. I'm going to get a couple more scriptures. It says, uh, former Miss Ukraine takes up arms against Russia. Former Miss Ukraine uh, Anastasia Lenin is taking up arms against Russia. And will kill those who enter Ukraine with the intent to invade. Okay? So she's getting ready for war. 
All right, and this is a joke, all right? You know, you, you women aren't designed really, you know, to fight. Hey, but they got you out there anyways. They don't care. Says uh, Elena was the winner of Miss Ukraine in 2015. Okay, so that, that wasn't that long ago. And now she stands out as one of the many defenders of Ukraine. Okay. All right. That's pretty much it, you know. You know, I'm just going to, you know, you know, I'm not even going to read the rest of it. But, that, you know, the main point is hey, she's out there. All right. And that's why, hey, hey, hey you women, hey, you better, you know, rise up, man. Hey, you better uh, uh, listen to the prophets. Get in order. Or you're going to be destroyed, man. That's it. You're just going to be destroyed. There is no, um, there's no other way to say it. If you don't want to get in order, look, your rebellion is going to get you destroyed. All right. And look, like I said, you need a man of the Lord, right? So when you jump up in this, uh, in this uh, uh, um, chapter in Isaiah 32 and 2 now, this is what a man of the Lord is going to do for, for you, okay? As Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, as a rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a, um, as a, shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Okay, meaning basically he's going to be your protection, okay? He's going to be your covering. And it's just not going to be a regular man either, okay? This has to be a man of Yahweh Hashem Shai, a man of the Lord, a righteous man, a godly man. That's it. Because look, you, you may run into one of these men out here and you think that you found protection. Look, a lot of these guys are going to die. The scriptures talk about how there's going to be widows out here, okay? How you women are, are, are going to be, you know, uh, uh, you know, you're not going to have any husbands. All right. A lot, a lot of these men are going to get drafted. They're going to get sent out there. All right. To World War Three, get destroyed. A lot of them are going to die out here in the riots. OK, the famines. They're, they're going to they, a lot of people are going to get judgment. OK. A lot of people are going to get judgment. All right. Let me get this one uh, other scripture here. As well, this is a uh, this is a uh, First T uh, Timothy five and six. All right, when you read up above, it's going into you women. All right, this is First Timothy five and six, and it says, "But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth." And you see, a lot of you women, you're living in pleasure. Okay, you know, you you give you know into the flesh. All right, you know, you want to buy all the nice dresses, shoes, get your nails done, get your you know hair done. Okay, you want to go. You know, uh, uh, on you know these you know vacation trips, ha have you know nice drinks, nice a uh, nice dinner, okay. Are right, you want to do all these carnal things? All right. Instead of pleasing Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, all right. And I'll say this: there's nothing wrong with having a little something here and there, okay? Because they everything's about balance. There's nothing wrong with you know. Like, I, you know, I'll say this, you know, having a nice dinner, maybe buying yourself, you know, a, a, a nice, you know, set of clothes, you know, here and there. But you women, you, you tend to go overboard with this. All right. That's all you're focused on. You're not focused on, uh, uh, you know, Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father. All right. His son, Yahweh Shai. You don't focus on that. You don't focus on your husband. See, I'll say this. Well, you, a lot of you don't even have a husband. All right. But yeah, you should be focusing on, you know, uh, your husband or getting a husband, all right? You know, uh, getting in order with him, being a helpmate, making sure that, you know, a, you know he, he's in a good spirit, helping him out, you know, with things around the house, being a, 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 a learning how to be a mother, you know, correctly, helping, you know, you know, taking care of the kids. Yeah, you, you women are so gone, man. You're so gone. It's unreal. And that's why a lot of you are going to be destroyed, man. That's why the Lord, he's, going, hey, he's giving no mercy to, to you women, man. All right? I mean, there's going to be a few that get mercy, but hey, the Lord's not going to have any pity on you women, man. All right? Because look. Because look. It says in Chronicles, look. If you, if you don't serve the Lord, okay, whether you're a, 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 a man, woman. Okay? It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, child. All right? 
It says that the Lord is going to kill you, okay? If you don't serve the Lord. Where is this at, man? Oh, I know it's in Chronicles, man. How is this worded? Salaki, give me a second, because I, I really want this one in Chronicles. I just forgot how it's exactly worded. I think it's in First Chronicles, though, maybe Second. I think it's Second Chronicles, though. Yeah, it should have came up. It was one of the first chapters. All right, give me one second. Damn, where is this at? So lucky I can't find it, but it basically talks about, uh, like I said in the Chronicles, if, if if you don't serve the Lord with all your heart, okay, you how about Shemel Shai? Doesn't matter if you're a man, woman, child, you're gonna get put to death, man. Okay. The Lord, the scriptures say what that the Lord is not a respecter of persons. All right, but you know what? I got another scripture that comes to mind. It's in the book of Ezekiel. It's something similar, but it's not exactly the same. But it's similar. All right, this is Ezekiel. The uh, what is it? The ninth chapter. All right. Salakia. Yeah. Where does it say? Set a mark upon those. All right. That sign, that cry for all the abominations that are done there. There we go. The ninth chapter. Yep. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord Yahweh saith unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Okay, and that city is talking about Jerusalem. Yeah, it says through the midst of Jerusalem, right? Meaning the uh, the people, because the Jerusalem was a people before a place, okay? You Israelites. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that mark is, um, when you go into the, uh, the Hebrew word, it means um, basically exempt from judgment okay basically you meaning you get a pass okay and the only ones that are going to get a pass are the ones that are sighing and crying for all the wickedness that's, that's going on that are, are, are asking the lord for this you know this madness this wickedness to stop and that's only a few people out here and the others he said all right those that aren't you know you know uh, begging you know for this you know evil to stop and to the others, he said, in my hearing, go af go ye after him through the city and smite. Let your eye, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, meaning young women and women. Doesn't matter if you're older, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they were at the ancient men which were before the house, all right? So point being, though, is you're not going to have any uh, mercy if you're uh, of the wicked. Hey, the, the Lord said in the book of Isaiah, there is no peace unto the wicked. And look, a lot of you women are going to be put to death, okay? A lot of you are going to go to war. You're about to get, you know, you know, raped nonstop because a lot of you are going to get raped by your own comrades, okay? If you're not raped by your own com comrades, you're going to get, you know, taken, okay, apprehended, by the enemy and get raped okay you're going to be a sex uh, a slave a sex toy all right for the you know for those soldiers for those men soldiers okay and that's it a lot you know a lot of you are just going to die you know a uh, uh, terrible deaths okay lonely deaths depressing deaths a lot of you are going to die in the battlefield too this is what's coming man hey so you hey you as a like women you better get in order man are you are you gonna get uh uh, uh destroyed man all right, that's pretty much it. And with that, you know, hey, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about you, Shai? Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.